There's only one shipbuilder in the United States that builds aircraft carriers, Newport News Naval Shipbuilding, a subsidiary of Huntington Ingalls. They're currently working on three carriers, the USS John F. Kennedy, the USS Enterprise, and the unnamed CVN-81. So at Sea Air Space 2019, I talked to the company to get an update. Let's start with your baby right now, which is the yeah. future USS Enterprise. Sure. Where are things at with the Enterprise build right now? Early, early stages of construction. So mm -hmm. we're in our manufacturing area where we're building structural units. Mm -hmm. uh, we have over 50 structural units, large Lego blocks, if you will, under construction. That always amazes me when, you, when I see the <laughs> lifts or everything like that. It reminds me when I was a little kid building my building Legos or things like that. Is it really yeah. like that just on a larger scale for building these? Yeah, it is. I mean, it, it, that's a good analogy. Mm -hmm. it, 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 when you look at them, you, you don't think anything like mm -hmm. Legos. But, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're doing that. We also are doing some foundry work. Uh, we've done over 30% of uh, our, our lifts, mm -hmm. uh, I mean our, our foundry pours, uh, but that is only like 4% of our weight because we have a lot of large castings to go. Okay. So we're, uh, we're another very interesting thing is we're using uh, integrated digital shipbuilding, mm -hmm. uh, which we're applying, so it's virtually drawing lists on 80. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're seeing some good benefits of that in our steel factories right now. So with so with the work that Enterprise, I know, are you guys incorporate? I know you mentioned to me earlier, are you guys incorporating any pieces of the old CVN 65 oh, in the, yes. into the new ship? Yeah, that's that's really pretty neat. So the 65 was is still in the yard for mm -hmm. decommissioning, and we took some pieces off of the flight deck and then sent them to ArcelorMittal up in Coatesville, Pennsylvania. They melted that down and turned them into plates. Mm -hmm. We're using three of those plates in our keel units. And then we're going to use our foundry is going to uh, melt some of that and mm -hmm. use it for a casting. So that, yeah, it's pretty cool. That that is pretty neat to, to kind of keep the history there going yeah, for, it is. for the for the ship. Pivot in a little bit to kind of the, the largest to kind of the larger scale with both of these ships. If there's an example of one thing that, that you can look at and go with 80 and 81 that you're able to buy both of at the same time, yeah. what would it be? Just as, as well, an example it's for a, people. Material. I mean, first of all, valves. So you know, there's lots of valves in, mm -hmm. in a carrier. But what we're able to do is couple both ship sets together, mm -hmm. and and the the uh, advantage that we have of a longer um, horizon, mm -hmm. you know, the the suppliers have the same thing. So so just about all of the equipment that we have um, have to still buy for 80, um, we're going to buy in a two-ship order. So that's a significant benefit to us mm -hmm. from savings, but also stabilizes the industrial base. And, and so obviously the Ford class hasn't exactly been without problems with development. First in class, a lot of, a lot of developmental sure. issues. That's what happens when you have a first in class and everything like that. What are some of the lessons you guys have kind of learned from 78 that you're kind of incorporating into the 80 build? Yeah, well, it, I mean, it really goes back to even 79. Mm -hmm. we, we, uh, incorporated 60,000 lessons learned that we were documenting mm -hmm. as we built the 78 into the 79. So mm -hmm. then, of course, all those lessons learned mm -hmm. travel or translate back to 80 mm -hmm. as well. Um, but um, build strategy, trying to build uh, larger units, so fewer lifts into the dock, mm -hmm. um, so we can do more pre-outfitting. We did a lot of that on Kennedy. We're mm -hmm. going to do even more of that on the Enterprise, the new Enterprise. So, so do you, to, just to draw back with little Amos, when you say pre-outfitting, you're literally building out these, these are almost fully complete sections that are dropped in? They, what they are, yes. I mean, so you take these Lego blocks, there's mm -hmm. about 1,100 of them that come out of our steel factory. Mm -hmm. We put those together to make super lifts, a lot of different super lifts. Mm -hmm. You start, because now you have a super lift, you have spaces of the ship that exist, mm -hmm. you can start putting piping and foundations and components and valves and, mm -hmm. uh, and, and what you're doing there is you're building that out in a more efficient location. Mm -hmm. uh, you have more lo uh, more access for material mm -hmm. when you're on land level and it's not down in the dock as part of the ship yet. Mm -hmm. Or we even do some of that work in the in the shops. So it's a more efficient way to do work. Great. And so pivot on you mentioned it just to CVN 79, the future USF John USF John. Where are things at the construction right now? Sure, uh, coming along well. We're at about 55, 56 percent complete overall. Mm -hmm. um, we're finishing up the erection of the ship, those Lego blocks going into the dock. We only have nine left, mm -hmm. and one of those being the island, which mm -hmm. will be uh, landed later this month. Mm -hmm. uh, so coming along well, and we're going to uh, launch about uh, three months early. Um, this year as opposed to next year. That's big. How, how did you get there? How, what, 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 was it, what enabled you guys to get that three months early? Well, um, it, we're, ship was coming along to get together uh, quicker than, mm -hmm. than uh, the Kennedy, I mean, than the Ford. The mm -hmm. Kennedy, we, we did a lot of that pre-outfitting I was mentioning mm -hmm. earlier. Um, so, and, and also, you know, we, had, we identified better opportunity from a launch 
uh, mm -hmm. weight standpoint, the, the tides, uh, you know, in, in the fall. So we said that would really be a good opportunity.